Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about user defined function. What it is, when to use it. Let's try to check it out as part of this video. So basically, user defined function lets you to package your reusable parameterized DAX logic into your models, making your DAX code easier to write and maintain and share. Those who are from the programming background, this is not very uh, new to you. Uh, like if you are familiar with SQL or Python or any other C programming, these are the some of the fundamentals of program. You write a reusable code and wherever it required, you can call this function and then you will get your results. Same thing, it's going to be used in your DAX code as well. So basically it's used for reusable content and maintainability will be simpler. Let's try to check it out once it's such example. Uh, let's say you have 20 measures that has to be calculated with the tax for 10 percentage, right? So instead of how do you add it in all these 20 measures, you write sales amount, you calculate sales amount multiplied by 1.1 and cost amount you multiplied by 1.1. So this is the way conventionally used to write that 1.1 will be multiplied everywhere. Instead of doing that, you define a function on some common place so that what will happen is you will get to know uh, uh, write the 10 percentage tax calculation in one single place. Then every other uh, those 20 or 10 measures you created, you will refer this function. It is as simple as this. So it is not only for such a calculation. There are a lot of use cases you can explore. It's going to increase your productivity drastically let's try to check it out how to implement this example so that you can explore your use cases this channel contains a free content that covers msbi power bi fundamentals of azure and data factory as well utilize this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin so i have a simple um, table here which has uh, two meshes total sales and selling price. So in these two measures, I'm going to uh, calculate the tax amount. For that, let's try to go to the model and I have added a function here. It is as simple as that, right click, new function. So I'm using the, uh, what you call GUI way, I mean graphical user interface. Uh, you can use different ways to create, either you can go to DAX, you can have a practical uh, syntax for defining function and you can write it or even in the Timdale view as well. So my way of doing is just go to here, right click new function. Okay. Once you click on that, you will get a window here. You just write a name that is add tax. That is your function name that is equal to what this function is going to do. It contains a parameter amount should be the parameter and what is the type of it this is the type and what is the return value now how what is it's going to write the entire logic in the function to be written after this equal to an arrow mark so it takes the parameter and that parameter multiplied by 1.05 in our case in our 1.1 let's say 10 percentage right 1.1 that's it you define this function now you go back to your um, um, measures so earlier what we usually do is this one into 1.1 you will do it this one into 1.1 that is how many measures you have uh, if you want to calculate you will calculate manually so let me uh, drag and drop here so now you can see uh, this has the 10 percentage from this right um like total sales with dax uh, i will just move it here so that you will understand so this is calculated with total sales is thousand uh two one ten and selling price with tax it this is calculated properly uh i'm not sure why it is not being calculated let's see the formula for total sales okay i i should not apply in the total sales it should be total sales with tax 
uh, that's okay so I calculated it here right so now usually we will calculate uh, in each and every measure like this multiplied by one now all to the sudden some tax calculation changes you need to repeat it all the 20 places sometimes I seen in my previous projects there are 50 places you need to apply the same calculation so something changes you need to replicate everywhere there are all the 50 places uh, it is a manual process it is time consuming process right so now what we need to do is instead of that if we add a tax here add tax right then you pass the numerical value here then put enter the value remains same you see here uh, it, it will remain same and even selling price instead of this we need to apply the add tax function here so add tax function it takes a numerical value the return value then you will get the tax uh, amount so calculation remains same the calculated value is perfect here but what is the advantage you are going to get let's say uh, later someone says uh, you have to change the tax to 15 percentage right then you no need to repeat all the 20 measures here right earlier in in our case if we have done 1.1 1.1 manually here you need to change 1.15 now all we need to do is just go here and apply 1.15 so this will be replicated for all the measures now you can see a literal change immediate change everywhere that is uh, oh, uh, that is 15 percent tax applied to all the measures you have used that function so in this way you are going to increase your productivity meaning like any repeated changes that you feel in your development you can utilize this method I hope there are a lot of use cases to explore uh, if you have already implemented any of the use cases just comment below let me try to explore it and I will post it in a separate video so I hope this is one of the important future that is uh, needed for the hour if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it so that you will not miss out any of the videos that I post in future.